Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Nocturne. I got the idea to do this from one video of Lone Mover Man, Ultra J Man and Perpetual Ascent did, which they titled Play Nocturne, you fucks. So that sounded like a good advice, I thought I'd take it. So here we are with Nocturne. Let's see. Um, control. So. Guess you'll see <coughs> some finish here then. Okay, looks alright. Took me some uh, fidgeting with the, the computer to get this to run. Since, well, this is from a Windows game from 11 years ago, so you can understand that there would be some hardware issues. But let's get started. We have four chapters to pick. Now let's go into chronological order. And in this nice loading screen, the monitor background is the progress bar. Let's try this again with a different recording software. Stranger, thank you for coming in on such short notice. Yep, that's the player character, the stranger. And that old guy is Colonel Hapscomb, the person running the Spook House, a secret government organization that battles the supernatural evils. The world is a dark place. Who will protect the world from darkness? We will. And of course, there's a secret entrance with a corny password, we'll be hearing more about that later, and the colonel seems to be stuck there. Um, hello? Okay, looks like he'll be getting there. And the stranger, strange goat, is a bit too lively, probably due to this being more powerful hardware than intended for the game, so... Uh, hello? Can, can we get through here? Uh, the game seems to be a bit glitchy on the counter. Okay, now here we go, good. Bit glitchy due to hardware issues, I suppose. <clears throat> As you can see, this is uh, plays much like the early Alone in the Dark or Resident Evil games with 3D models on top of uh, 2D backgrounds. I suppose I should tell you you would have a partner on this mission. A partner? Who? Svetlana Lopescu. I know you really don't like us. I don't you like us. anyone. I hate monsters. I wouldn't call her a monster. She's only half vampire. Half is too much. But it's that half of her that makes her so ideal for this assignment. You've put aside your personal feelings in the past, stranger. I trust you'll do the same now. If she crosses me, she dies. I'm sure she feels the same about you. What a big happy family we are. <laughs> and there she is. So, um, let's go hear the briefing. I hope that Fraps uh, frame uh, display won't show up in the final recording. Oh well. Nice to see you all. Have either of you ever heard of the Yathogu stone? The Yathgi? When you've heard of it, I suspected you might. Only through legend. It's the Holy Grail of the Vampire world. The Vampire who wields it is said to be immune to those things that would kill any other Vampire. 
He can walk anywhere, even in sunlight, and strike down man or beast with a thought. Yes, those are the legends. Some even suggest that the stone is the petrified heart of an ancient vampire. But, legend aside, we think we've tracked down the artifact. I always thought that it was just as much a myth as the Holy Grail. What makes you think the Grail is a myth? Yes, well, we think we might have found the Athel Gule Stone. Our intelligence suggests that a castle in Germany by the name of Gaustadt was the last known location of the artifact. Rumors, of course, but reports of strange creatures and supernatural events have been becoming suspiciously more frequent over the past century. Whether the stone is there or not, something is drawing the supernatural to that mountain. This is beginning to sound like a research assignment. It's far more important than that. Your mission is to retrieve the artifact. We've surveyed the regions as best we can. Reports that have trickled out over the past hundred years indicate that the journey itself to the castle will be treacherous. Why is it so important to retrieve this stone? No one here can utilize its full potential. I suspect that not even I would benefit from its powers, since my half-human blood gives me many of the benefits this stone is rumored to bestow. As you know, our trophy hall is filled with weapons and artifacts of great power that would allow an individual to rule the world should he wield them properly. By keeping them here under lock and key, we can ensure that they never fall into the wrong hands. Why not simply destroy them? Some cannot be destroyed. We've tried. Others may prove useful to us in the future. In the event of another great war, we have weapons that would guarantee our victory against any odds. Right. Returning to business, we've done some preliminary reconnaissance. Our operatives couldn't penetrate very deeply into the foothills. The entire area is crawling with werewolves. I thought you'd keep all the werewolves in turn. Hmm. We tried to find relatives or friends of anyone from the Gaustadt region. Couldn't find one person with any connection to the area. We do know that small villages in the area were inhabited as late as the 1850s, but since then, no one has had any first-hand contact with anyone there. All the information you need is on your desks, and your travel arrangements have been made. Good luck, and be careful. Meet me at the elevator when you're ready to leave, stranger. Of course, we won't be getting out of here right away. So let's stop got talk about the personnel a bit. Svetlana Lupescu is a half vampire. Stranger here is called the <coughs> Stranger, since nobody really knows much about him. One theory about his origins is that some 20 30 years ago, a cabal of priests kidnapped a small baby to be raised as the ultimate warrior in, against the forces of darkness or something like that. And here we have Hiram Mota, as I recall his name is, he is semi-retired from the spook house. I don't have to look up to know the stranger has just entered this room. The power of your thoughts precedes you, stranger. Cut the crap, Hiram. I've known you long enough to know you can't read minds. Technically, that is true. But you know, I can sense intense feelings. And you, my dear fellow, have the most intense aura I've ever encountered. It's obvious you have a new mission that you're not looking forward to. Though I can't imagine what objection you could have against any mission. The Colonel assigned Svetlana as my partner. Oh. Okay, I really don't want to do know what he's doing with his left hand there. Okay, and we can jump. Ooh, there's the night vision, which is kind of useless in this light. Hello, Hiram. Wait a minute, this does mean that they must have mapped up all the locations in full 3D. Kind of interesting. Well, let's go over here. Oh yeah, and the briefing room is locked now. And here we have Duck Holiday. 
Well, obviously not the same Duck Holiday who was with Wyatt Earp, but a Duck Holiday. Hello, Doctor. Uh, can I talk to you? Hello. Okay, here Randy, we go. can you come back later? As you can see, I'm extremely busy. I have to leave on a mission soon. I see. And you want to know if I have any goodies for you? All the it. What's the mission? Werewolves and vampires. Vampires? Svetlana just returned from her last mission. I don't suppose she's going on this mission with you, is she? Yes. Interesting. Well, I've got the standard Aqua Vampira that Hamilton Killian helped develop. Better than holy water, he always said. And I have a new item that I just finished. I haven't had time to field test it yet. Basically, it produces artificial sunlight. It takes a while to charge up, but when it does, it ought to fry any vampires, and at the very least, temporarily blind anything else. You better not accidentally shoot a team member with it, especially Svetlana. Hmm, I wonder if this machine will even have an effect on a down pair. Either way, it might not be a good idea to use this if you and Svetlana are going to be in close proximity during the mission. I'll take my chances. What do you call it? It's the Charged Radiance Emitter, or more colorfully, the Son of God. Nice. Anything else? Werewolves, huh? Where did you say you're going? Germany. I thought you killed all the... What else do you have? Sorry, stranger, just the standard silver bullets. I've been very busy. You're lucky I was able to finish the sun before your mission. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, let's pick up what we have here. Okay, there's Aqua Vampira bullets. It's naturally work against vampires and silver bullets and some other bullets as well. Mercury bullets. I think those were against demons and such. And there's one doctor's back. Okay, now we have. I oh, can't draw the gun here. Now, the Colt 45 can use different bullets. Aqua Vampira, Silver, Mercury, Ordinary. Hmm. Stranger, please don't play with my tools. What is that thing anyway? That one up right there. In the close up where the doctor was sitting, it looked like it was a big. What? Mm. Okay, ah, there's the Sun Guard. Hmm. Still can't draw the gun. Oh well, and I suppose I uh, can we examine this. I suppose this is a werewolf. Uh, it doesn't look that way. Um, and I, yeah, you can't open these doors. 